Montaging with AI is a great way to experiment with designs and compositions. I'm going to show you how you can use CompUI to intuitively montage various images together, up to eight in fact, that can be rendered out using your text prompts for additional details. You can then blend in various styles using LoRa models, whether it be realistic or more illustrative outputs. This is accomplished by using control nets, in combination with a compositor node that you can find from the Enrico's custom notes. The GitHub, it explains how it combines multiple images to a single scene or composition. This process allows you to create complex visuals by layering images, adjusting the position, size, rotation, and other properties before rendering into a high fidelity image. For the CompUI workflow, I'll be using a Flux workflow developed in my last video to save time. I went through it in a lot of detail, so you can check it out there. I've loaded in the standard Flux Dev all-in-one model for simplicity, but you can switch this out with a dual clip loader or GOFF models for more control if you like. Here it works with a control net union model. Compositor node will also work with other control net workflows or STXL, so you can just augment it with your own. To get up to this point, watch the previous video or simply drag and drop the workflow provided in the links below. Let's get started with the custom nodes. You drag in the workflow. You can just go to install missing custom nodes in the manager, automatically find there and install. Otherwise, you have to go through and do them manually. The previous workflow, you will need the ControlNet preprocessor, RG3, easy use, and out AI nodes give extra functionality. You just need the compositor nodes and go to the custom nodes manager and install the Enrico's nodes, which was shown in the GitHub, and then the REMBG or the background remove. I already have these installed, so I'll skip these. The main change in this workflow is that instead of loading one fixed image, we can load in multiple images and lay them together, just like Photoshop. I'll delete all of these unnecessary images and pre-process it, which will form the previous workflow. The main node we need to add is the compositor. Once you load your images, you can move them around, scale them, and so on. Next is the compositor config. These connect together. There's also an option to add a mask for each image, or you can use a background removal node, which I will be doing. And at the bottom here, you can set the size of your composition and the padding. This should match your empty latent image size. Up here, I'm using a custom flux resolution calculator node. I will set the resolution to 5.3 wide, and it will give me the optimum resolution. To see what the number is, I will temporarily deactivate the case sampler by right-clicking and bypassing it. So when I run this, show any node shows the numbers that we need. I'll copy this 480 by 768, the compositor. You don't need to use this calculator. You can just manually add your width and height as long as they match. And then I will select four images that I want to montage. So I'll add four load images. The order in which you plug these into the compositor is also important, as the first image will be the background layer, and then the final image will be in the foreground. These can be any size as you can scale them down later. I will start with a city skyline in the background. Then I'll add a sketch of my main building, a tree in the foreground, and finally a photo of a path which I want leading my building. The great thing about this workflow is that you can use photos, sketches, massing references, and they don't have to be polished. You can cut out the background yourself before loading in, or you can add that image remove node. I will need these for the first three images, so I'll add three background removers and connect these up. These will go into the config nodes. I'll just make sure to keep them in the right order from background to foreground layers. To use the compositor node, you'll need to run the workflow once and then continue by pressing it again. I forgot to plug a compositor image first to the ConnetNet preprocessor, so I'll do that. We can also switch out our preprocessor later, so don't worry at this point. 
Now you can see all our images appear within this frame. So it's a bit like Photoshop from here, where you can control the transforms to scale, rotate, and place. It doesn't have to be beautiful, only the composition is important, as the control net will then trace these details. I will make this path lead to the building and frame the scene with a tree. And I have a rough city skyline in the background. And I will resize these so that they are within the green frame. So they are not cut out and still show the main elements I want to generate from. When you are happy with the composition, you have to press this small continue button at the bottom. Or you can hit the run button again. And it will be then sent to the control net and the case sampler to render. However, I haven't connected my control net and that's why it's giving me an error. You can see here I have a canny edge preview of composition, which gives you a good idea of what it looks like. You can use a variety of preprocessors depending on whether you're using Flux or SDXL. For detailed images, I like to use Pyra canny. So when I add this and run, you can see the difference. Although sometimes this much detail is just too much. I'll connect this image to the apply control net. And I'll adjust the strength to around 0 0.7 as a decent starting point. I will also deactivate my extra LoRa and only keep the Flux Turbo from our last video, which allows me to run in 8 steps, so speeds this up a lot. Be sure to add a prompt which describes what images you are using. I'll have a realistic high quality photo with contemporary glass steel museum, city in the background, tree to the side, and wooden path in the foreground with a lawn. I'll change the case sample steps to 8, match the lower, and the rest I'll keep as my default. Once happy, hit the run button again. Once generated, you can see how it has made a realistic, cohesive image out of our messy montage. You see a few problems here, such as the control net is too strong and it's giving these strange dark lines, and also my tree is in the wrong order. So let's correct these. I will switch the path and the tree layer order around so that the tree is not hidden. Then I will reduce the control net strength to 0 0.6 or both. When I run, you can see, unfortunately, it messes up the composition. This happens if you disconnect any of the images. I will need to just go through and adjust these again. And when I run, it looks much better. For more realistic results and no dark lines. You can also play around with which control net to use. For massing and shapes, I'll suggest using depth. But since I have a few sketches here, Canny is pretty good for these, picking out the key parts. Depending on the input images, maybe even segmentation with SDXL works better. And of course, you just need to play around with the strength settings. If you are happy with the composition, you can move on to styling it with laws. I will activate this Ghibli style one since I already have it loaded in. It makes the images more illustrative. And add the key trigger word which is needed for each lore. And I'll reduce the lore strength a bit so it won't be too anime like. Now, when I run it, it gives this beautiful illustration with vibrant grass, shadows, clouds, and even a nice tree branch here to frame the scene. If you want more realistic scenes, you could try out other lore such as the Ultra Wheel. So, deactivate the Ghibli style, change the strength. And now, when I run, you get this more muted result with clear sky and cleaner glazing. From here, it is up to you to experiment with the laws, strengths, and control nets to get the results you like. I found this to be a great workflow for developing design concepts, as it allows to be more hands-on with the composition. I hope you'll find this useful, and see you in the next video.